And he's got some weapons to work with. They're going to throw on first down and a quick completion across the middle. Throws and, and try to wear down that defensive line with tempo. Unbelievable talent on that D-line. How about the jump ball and knocked away? He had that ball caught. A new weapon. He didn't play much of a role for Indiana. Bob's going up to battle for that football and take it away from Sheffield. He is a big... And I said, who separates themselves? He's a Cobbs can win the one-on-one -on -one battle. That was a pretty good example of that. That's another one-on-one -on -one battle. It's going to be Richard Lego's arm and these receivers' ability to win in one-on-one. -on -one. Man, very quick snap on third down. Another third down. Him off the field and get Damon Arnett back into the lineup. Uh, play fake. Lego on the move. Will throw short. And well, they are just spreading it out and throwing it around right now. And they are really going fast. Lego toward the end zone. It is... It's the strength of their offense, the receivers. Well, they converted three third downs on that first drive. Pressure comes. Lego's going to dump it short at his drive. Four defensive ends in the game. They show blitz, and then they drop out. Linebackers drop out. Look how he the, the pocket collapses. Yeah, can't wait. With college game day on Saturday squeezed in as well. Lego over the top. It hits the helmet of the Buckeyes defensive back. The eyes, and then getting his hand back to be able to knock that ball away. Yeah, he looked like a DB. Now this time the pass perfectly thrown. And to this team, you can kind of see and feel his mojo from up here. Third and 12, that throw, and it's knocked away incomplete. Nice flips. And this time again, Ward has to have a feel. Is he going to go by me, or is it going to be a back shoulder throw trying to improve? Oh, by the way, we thought maybe we might see Peyton Ramsey, who takes his first. His, his son is a warrior, tough kid, is a dual threat. They really like him. Another fake. Again, keeps it straight ahead. And plus one with the quarterbacks running the ball. This will be interesting. Do they have faith in him to throw the ball? It's tipped and caught anyway. What a great effort. Ryan Watercutter, the second. Tops in the flat. They're going to pitch it, left side run, and a pretty short game. And Ramsey's still in the game here on this drive. Yeah, they were committed to using him. He's going to roll out again, and he's going to run against that Ohio State. Go, who's not a threat at all, running the football. So young Peyton Ramsey, the first series of his college career on third down, will throw incomplete. He throws the ball. There's no question about it. Now, and I like the fact that he's throwing the ball to the wideout. See that? He's throwing the ball one offense pretty yeah. soon. They're going to get beat. Yeah, the strength of the Indiana offense is Lego throwing it, and he's got a great group of wide receivers. Absolutely. Move the ball on the ground. On fourth and one, it's a pass, and it's a first down. Why not? Go back, who is covering the slot receiver. Oh, be darn. Well, they're going for it tonight, aren't they? There's Cobbs incomplete. And, and last time. This drive. And the Hoosiers are inside the 15-yard line. Already leading 7-3. Coach Corso is with us. Just honored a few three first-rounders. A third and five. A little pump fake. And that one tipped and intercepted. Off the tip ball. Down the sideline. Out of bounds at the 40-yard line. And snuffed out the drive right as they were in the red zone. Lego play fake. And uh, no, he gave the ball. They like him a lot. His first play of his college career. They're going in that direction, but instead of the wide receiver, that's a wrist or a hand issue or what. But he's on the sideline for third and nine with time. Lay go. That one was tipped, I think, but it's completed anyway. And receiver that time, Timmy, and that's a touchdown. So instead, just the big pass run of the night. And you can see they, they put trips into the boundary. Watch this receiver. Creating some confusion, getting behind Ohio State. Boy, if he saw him, he walks to the end. Very tough matchup with his size, 6'4". And that quick tempo continues, Kirk, that you said might be the fast tempo here that Richard Lego feels comfortable with. Play fake. That one-on-one -on -one matchup, and I think it's another one-handed grab. So it's first and goal. Lego over the top for Cobbs, and that time. Ohio State showing some pressure. A little play fake, and they will try it again to Cobbs has to defend Cobbs in these one-on-one -on -one matchups. And it is a true freshman Columbus kid in the backfield. That was a pretty good cut by him. 13 seconds. Second and six. That throw with an open receiver right at midfield is good. Okay, they're going to go fast. Look at this pressure. Ohio State decided to try to challenge Lego. Catch him off guard. They bring the blitz, but again, gets the ball out of his hands quickly. To try to help them in these one-on-one -on -one matchups. Well, one of the great defensive minds, that's for sure. That's another completion over the middle, and it's that guy. Say, okay, we're going to go to the inside and try to win that matchup. On the move again, the Hoosiers. They're going over the top again, incomplete. 
That gives Indiana a little breathing room out to the 30. There's still plenty of time on the clock. Lego, a little pump fake, and now he's going down. He did not get rid of the ball. On second down, Lego is not going that way, though. He's going back to the right side for the completion to Hale, who slips the tackle, and that's big. because He's staying off. It's a one-on-one -on -one battle. He trusts his receivers to win those battles. Pressured again, and he will throw a dangerous throw. I think that's caught. It was. Yeah. Lego in the pocket. And that pass caught short. Now there's another one where Ohio State missed the rest of the year. Talented player. Third down. Pass rush coming, but Lego steps up. That one through behind his. They don't convert. Hoosiers get the ball back. First and 10. Indiana and a quick completion. 20 to 14. Still trailing. Big. Points come off the board. It's a six point game. Cobbs, they're going toward Cobbs. Complete first down. Yeah. You saw it. Yeah, it, well, guys couldn't deal with them. Ohio State's adjustments has been to put safeties over the top to try to help them out. Well, second down, Indiana in Ohio State territory. Wide open, Cobbs across the middle. And he's knocking defenders. Now they get Cobbs into the middle that's been vacated by the linebackers. Quick tempo. And another. Second and four, Indiana trying to answer. They go. That one's caught. Use Cobbs as a decoy to open up the sideline to go back to the running back sneaking out of the backfield that time by Mike DeBoer. Great pass, first and goal, Majette fighting. On against uh, Sheffield. Jump ball coming, we'll see. Lego instead toward the tight end, touchdown! His second of the night. Zell Ward, third and ten, and they're handed the ball off, trying to take Ohio State by surprise, and they were not. How about Jerome? So far, I I'm with you. I mean, you look at the names, you think maybe lopsided. This was no pushover game, and it still isn't. We still no. got a ways to go. Oh, yeah. Don't sleep on Richard Lego and these receivers. Lego pressured, incomplete. And he looked uncomfortable in that pocket. And he took that hit on the near interception. Nowhere close. This is a great job. He's still kind of feeling his way through. Nobody gets to the second level to take him out. And that is a play because of the offensive firepower that they have with Lego and company. I think they're going to win a bunch of games. Lego batted. Good throw by Lego. In the pocket again. That one is intercepted.